Hi everyone, I'm Margo with Floor to Ceiling Carpet One in Detroit Lakes here and today we're going to be talking about colors, textures and styles for, uh, for your home, for your interior space. So as we begin to talk today, a lot of times we know that when you come into our store that each and every one of you is an individual, everyone has their own tastes, uh, styles are different and Again, this is, where we, this is where we question, this is where we ask you all of those questions to find out what it is that you like. Uh, we want to know if you like light colors, if you like dark colors, do you like rich, warm textures? Do you want to feel like you're in, you know, in, down in Mexico, south of France? Where do you, know, you want to feel like you're in this very contemporary, cold, sterile setting? Not that any of those are bad. Every one of them is fabulous. It's our job to tailor those to look the way that they need to look, which means we need to get you the products that will be most conducive to those designs. So typically, if you come to us and we decide we're going to go out to your home and we're going to have a look, say that you're remodeling, as bizarre as this might sound, we'll look at your house, we'll walk through your space, and just kind of stand there. And you might look at us and wondering, what in the world are they doing? But a lot of times when we walk into your space, your house and its walls, and as weird as this will sound, it can actually speak to us, tells us um, what it is that we need to be doing to your house so that it actually works. A lot of times, if I walk into a house and I walk in, I immediately see these old um, wood floors and I see arched doorways. I'm not going to go with the contemporary style because that's not what the house is saying more than likely we'll end up in a cottage feel. And if you're living in that house, guess what? More than likely, it's probably what you're attracted to and we know that. If we walk into a house that's got cleaner lines, we may go contemporary. And if we don't go contemporary, we could just go what we call transitional, which means um, we're talking about something that is a traditional um, kind of a look into um, something that might move into a little more of a contemporary kind of a feel. And we'll talk about what each one of those things are today. Uh, first off, let's have a look at what um, maybe a cottage setting would be. So we'll come over to this display right here. And what I have put together here are, we've got a wood floor, a piece of cabinetry, some granite, and then I just threw in a little bit of fabric. Now, cottage, a, a cottage feel can have a lot, of, a lot of different looks. This just happens to be one. This is a little more of a sophisticated Hamptons kind of a feel. So what we've done is we've started off with kind of this smoke-colored floor here. It's a wood floor. And then have put um, some lighter ivory-colored cabinets. And on the insides of these, and I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see this or not, but on the insides, there are, there's a dark glaze in here, and it's kind of a charcoal glaze. Um, and we can put as much or as little of that as you want. And then we've put in this fabulous looking granite. And this granite actually um, takes in all of the colors. It, it marries the color of the cabinetry along with the color of the floor so that you end up with this great unified look. So what I've done here, I've also taken and put in some window treatments. Now these window treatments are fun. You can do whatever you want with them. What's nice is that we have given you in this look, these curtains, fabric is always going to soften the look of a home. So someone who maybe doesn't like the gray tones might walk into this space and go, oh, well, it's a little too cold. It's a little too sterile. But once we start throwing in softer, softer things, fabrics, whether it be your drapery or whether it be your bedding or whatever it is, um, kitchen towels, things like that, that's all going to have a tendency to soften things up. What we've done is uh, have, I've also added texture in here. So we're not just talking about color, we're also talking about texture. And in here, this particular curtain happens to have some really great Swarovski crystals in it, which just kind of give you that added punch of flare. And not everyone's going to like flare, but we like to put that in there just because it's fun. Along with the window treatments, also, again, thinking ahead of the game, we also want to think about the types of fabrics that you'll introduce into your furniture. <clears throat> so that, again, is going to soften your look. The uh, windows that you might put into this home might be uh, 
what we call a mullioned window. So you'd have the white trim and things like that. And if you don't know what a mullioned window is, basically the windows that have the grids on the inside. So that completes this particular kind of a cottage look. Again, keep in mind there's a lot of different ones. This just happens to be the one that we've chosen um, for today. And, um, but then we'd also like to show you at the opposite end of the spectrum of this, and that would be more of this very rustic kind of a feel. And this next look is gonna be something, this would be more like a cottage up in the woods. That, and we wanna make this really look like this has been there for absolutely centuries. This is truly old, rundown, true cabin for those of you that really wanna get away. Um, even though we know and you know that this will all be brand new. So the quality of your drawers and things are gonna slide out really nice as opposed to the old rickety cabinets that might be falling apart. So we're just gonna make it look that way. And so this is how we achieve that. This door is one of those doors that's gonna look like it's been there for centuries. It's actually reclaimed wood. It has, um, it's been acid washed or etched so that we can actually see the grain of the wood come out a lot more. So it looks like basically we just went down, chopped down a tree on our own and put our own cabinets together. And that's what this, that's what this look will achieve. Along with it, we've combined um, an old floor. This is a planked floor. This also happens to be um, what we call hand scraped. It's also got dents in it that are already there. So if you have kids, pets, anything like that, you don't have to worry about this floor because it's already looking really old for you. So it's a, actually a really great look. Um, have also combined it with this natural granite um, for the top. And all it is, is it's got some green and some rust veins running through it. So basically what we're doing is we're bringing the outside in. We're really truly giving you this backwoods kind of cabin look. The other thing, if we, wanna, if we want to add a little bit more flair to this, we can also incorporate two different colors of cabinets. So along with this uh, wood, this old wood looking door, we can also incorporate, I've put this brick red door here. Now we have, here at Carpet One, we have a lot of different door styles to choose from. I just happened to pull this out. You don't have to necessarily go with this look. This has the beadboard in the center, but this door, uh, also it has been beaten up and, and has lots of holes, lots of distressing in it. So this would be a great thing to combine with this. It doesn't have to be brick red. Here we could incorporate a sage green if you wanted to. We could do a mustard yellow and that would be just fine as well. But instead I've decided to incorporate those kind of colors or the, I've added this gold fabric right here which is a little more dressy for what we have. Just because you have this really, really rustic setting doesn't mean that you can't step it up just a little bit and you can't add a silk or you can't add anything like that. The two will marry really well. We just have to watch how we're doing that. Along with this silk fabric, I've also added a patterned fabric uh, down here that has the old lanterns and some fish and some deer, things like that. Uh, just to tie all of the colors together and just to give you an idea about what you might do again with your furnishings, things like that. Paint colors on the wall, we'll definitely be looking into those as we're creating either one of these looks in your home. And again, we like to really try and help you work through all of these decisions and create the look that you want. So come and see us whenever you are in town here at Florida Healing Carpet One.